Hey everybody! So today I wanted to do a really special daily dose. Um, it's so cool. I'm going to call it Spirit Speaks because I have a message that I want to share that ultimately um, defines the wisdom of experience and defines sort of the difference between living through fear or ego and surrendering to something bigger, surrendering to God inside of us. And I know some people don't really um, go along with that theory that God's inside, but from my own experience, it is. And this is my opinion and this is my experience. So um, it's funny, I was, you know, growing up through childhood, through my teens and my young adult years, I never felt like I fit in. I have always felt like I was from the wrong planet. I always felt like I sort of thought differently and, and had a different perspective than most people. And it was really difficult, especially when that wasn't even matched in my own family structure. And so I did a lot of research and I, I started to really learn and understand the concept of indigo children, which I now write about and coach and it's my life story. And so I wanted to share this because, you know, I've asked this question to God a lot but I asked it again recently um, because I like to get peace with my past. I think having a sense of peace with the past really makes you fully present. It doesn't make you obsessed with the past. It doesn't make you trip on the future. It's just you can be very present and that's where the gifts are. So I wanted to read something to you because recently I wanted to get clarity. And I think when you finally have the wisdom of experience, and I like to know, I like to share the fact that the world has really been my classroom. I mean, I've traveled the world extensively in my life. I've had that huge opportunity when I was really young. And, and I really see why now. Because I, I kind of woke up to being a truth seeker, a seeker of truth, when I was very young. I mean, I was reading books like The Road Less Traveled when I was 15 years old. I mean, this was always my path because I always needed answers that I could experience. Rather than someone telling me this is the way it is, trust God because of this, I said, I want to know how to trust God and why because I need to experience why I should. It's a tough path, but it's incredible. So I asked God recently the same question I've asked for years, and I heard it quite differently now because I had experienced it for myself. So I asked God, why, sorry about my hair, <laughs> this is weird, why have I always felt so different, felt so alone? Why is it that every time something very difficult would happen in my life, it seemed like all outside support was gone, it vanished. I literally have always felt like I have no support and no protection. And I knew early on that there was a God, and I was very connected to that, but then why would it leave me when I needed it most, okay? So this is the answer I got, and I wrote it down last night because I didn't want to do a daily dose at like 1 a.m. when this answer came to me, so I thought I would do it today and tell you what Spirit told me. Now, I have a very close connection now with Spirit, and I have a very... Um, specific understanding of my own t intuition and I feel that the guidance I get is very accurate because once I get it, it I get chills and I see it in my life so I have a very deep trust for spirit now this was not always the case in my life before I was always questioning it I always had doubt because I didn't understand if you're real and if you're so loving then why did this happen and what I've learned is Everything that isn't love is a misinterpretation. So this is what God told me about having no support in my life. I was showing you that I was always inside of you, not outside. I was showing you that things are always changing on the outside, but on the inside, they always remain the same. I am constant. I was teaching you to call on the truest support, and that is me. It may have seemed that you did not have immediate support, but the truth is I was teaching you about a support that will never waver. I get emotional because it was so real. <laughs> it took time, but time is only something humans create. I'm always with you. And so it's funny because 
That's truth. And for so much of my life, I was so angry and so confused because I had experienced truth very early on in my life, but then felt like it would leave me or I would lose it. And you lose it when you stop trusting that everything is for you. It's not happening to you. It's happening for you. And I can tell you from complete integrity that that is real. And now when I look back at my life and I see all the times I felt like this is a joke, really another time this big scary pattern is happening and you leave me, I see that it was literally training me to look inside. Not rely on myself, ego self, but rely on that voice. Spirit speaks inside to rely on God. And what a hard path for a kid and a young adult to do on her own. But what a validating, secure knowing that you step into when you really learn to trust that there's something that you're not seeing but is supporting you at all times. The universe has your back. It's just a matter of shifting our perspective to see that sometimes the hardest things are actually God working in our life to shift our perspective to see that we're never alone and it never needs to be scary. And I'm so grateful for the wisdom that I've contacted because it will it never wavers. It never goes away. It's a matter of seeing it through God's eyes, not through ego, not through fear, not through our patterns and our um, conditioning and our misinterpretations. I mean, my life has not been easy. A lot of people look at my life and think, oh, what is she talking about? It looks amazing. It looks great. She's happy. She is this. It's not true. The truth is my childhood is extremely difficult and I really honor my own sort of commitment to the truth and God's grace for giving me the inner security of my own wisdom. It's priceless. So I wanted to share spirit speaking with you today and um, I hope you really take that in and if you have questions obviously always go to my website or you can comment on this YouTube um, or go to my email which I'll put everything down below for you so I hope you have a beautiful day and I hope whenever you have a question you can start seeking your own truth or start meditating on that voice. Okay, sending love. Satnam.